welcome to the Canon here we're going to show you how to troubleshoot a Volkswagen if you got issues with the keyless start and uh, basically the engine start function and how you can troubleshoot there what what control units you need to read the codes from so you will need a scanner uh, a professional scanner basically that can read full codes from a control unit that's on uh, in charge of diagnosing the uh, operating the keyless start function basically so here we have um, a list of all the makes but we're interested in Volkswagen so this scanner will read and clear codes from or, or work on any make and model basically but we go to Volkswagen and then we do smart VIN or you can do manual selection where you enter the model and the year yourself you can do that as well but smart VIN reads the VIN number and then based on that it tells us it's this car and loads the correct software for that car and press diagnostics you can do a quick scan where basically you go through the scanner will go through all control modules and then it's going to see if there's issues with any of those control modules and tell you what those codes are so that's good to check the health and but we're concerned in the, basically the start authentication function so if the card doesn't start or the keyless doesn't start and you think maybe an issue with a key we can come in here so we go to uh, control module this is ACC Start Authentication Control System. Here we, we are connected to the Start Authentication Control Unit, basically, or Volkswagen calls it UDS, but um, we can read the codes. There is a low voltage, basically, code. This is sporadic, comes and goes. It's not an issue right now, but maybe you have a car that the battery dies overnight. And then you end up with issues in that control module. Uh, if there's another issue, maybe an antenna that uh, receives a signal from your keyless start is defective, you're going to get codes here. Uh, you can look at live data, for example. You can do all live data stream. And these are all different sensors that send signal to the star authentication control, control unit. Okay. You can select all. Press OK. And then you, you can see the different values here. So yeah, you can compare those and see if there's something is um, incorrect and it's not the value that it should be. So this is a long list, but this can be really good if you're looking to troubleshoot an issue and uh, you wanna actually look at what the car, if the car is getting data or what, what kind of data it's getting. So let's go back. So we're back to being under the uh, accessory or star authentication control system. You can do activate test. So this is a bidirectional test. So basically you are sending signal to that sensor or motor or whatever. And, um, and you're testing if it's working or not. So you can uh, ch check any of those. And then you can, uh, you can, what we'll do is, yeah. So once you select it, it's not active, you can start. And you can turn it to on. Yep. And so you can see it activate that sensor. But that's it. So this is good. Like if your car doesn't start or if your keyless start doesn't work. Um, if it doesn't start and you suspect that it's an issue with a key, you can come in here. You can look at the live data and see if the car is recognizing the key or like if there is a fault code there that it's giving you a little bit of input and trying to guide you in the right direction troubleshooting the problem thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic